Bonjour tout le monde. Today, I have a very special guest to help you with confidence. And before I introduce her, this is all about increasing your confidence to speak French. Today's treat is that I have teamed up with Melanie Moore. Hello, Melanie, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks so much for having me, Christine. So um, I'm a mindset coach. I help people to tap into their big vision. Now, um, today's a little bit different because I'm going to be introducing you to something called EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, um, popularly known as tapping, because we are going to be tapping on these acupressure points. If you have heard of tapping, um, it's most probably because you've heard that it's good for anxiety, stress, fears and phobias, and great with children, great with helping people with exams. And I'm not sure if it's been used in this bilingual way before, but what we're going to be doing today is to helping people with confidence because when it comes to learning a new language, um, confidence is one of the things that we kind of need to tap into literally um, in order to feel confident speaking because when we're not feeling confident with anything in life, we don't want to do it. We, we just, you know, it feels a bit weird. It feels not, you know, people are going to judge us. But when we're feeling confident, it doesn't matter if we get it wrong because we just go and do it. So when you are learning something new, particularly later in life, it can take you back to those fears when you were a child of being in the classroom and, you know, being scared to raise your hand, being scared to get it wrong. And this may feel to you like you're back in that kind of classroom setting again. So with this round of tapping, even though we're going to be using it to help you feel more confident speaking French, you may find the side effects so that it could eliminate kind of some of the old fears that you had as a child in the classroom. So um, confidence really is everything. So this is kind of just gonna be a fun way of tapping. All I'm gonna ask you to do is to do as I do, say as I say, I'll be doing it in English and Christine will be doing it in French. And before we start, I'm just going to explain the points. Um, this is the karate chop point. So we can start off tapping here. And these are also known as um, acupressure points. So tapping is like a cross between acupuncture, but without the needles, and modern day psychology. So as we talk and tap, we are stimulating these acupressure points. And we're also clearing the energy pathways in our body, which is kind of where the acupuncture bit comes in. So um, then we're gonna move to the eyebrow point, which is where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose. Um, the side of the eye, which is kind of on the bony part, under the eye, under the nose, the chin, collarbone, which is kind of around here. I use a flat of my hand, so we kind of like, we're covering this kind of area here. Under the arm, which is kind of where the bra strap is, if you're a lady, if you're wearing a bra, and um, at, at the top of the head, which is kind of the crown of your head here. And, um, and you can use either side of the face, either hand, whichever you're more comfortable with, whether you're left or right-handed. You can't get it wrong. And if you're doing the first time, you think, oh my God, it's too tricky. I'd encourage you to just maybe do it the first time around and then and just practice. The thing about tapping is that it's a bit like having a shower. You don't just do it once and expect to be clean forever. Um, it's best done daily and um, with repetition comes mastery and you'll just get better and better at it. <laughs> do you know what? I absolutely agree with everything that you say there. You know, you're spot on. People learn some French and freeze on worry. And you're right about the classroom too. Sometimes it stems from the fact that somebody, like you may see them nudge in the classroom or something. Sometimes it stems that the fact that somebody does that and freezes you forever. And we have no idea that it's affected us now. The mm. knock on domino effect of things that you do in your life stems from those tiny little events like that. So unless yeah. you stop and look back, you just don't realize it. So I think having the confidence even though it's through French, you really are going to achieve something. And suddenly you feel like you find yourself feeling good completely mm. because you've achieved something and you bust what you feel is a brick wall. So mm. who knows? 
who knows where having confidence can take you in your lives, which is why you're here <laughs> to have a bilingual tapping session. Yeah, and I'm excited to do this too. I've never done a bilingual tapping session before. This is going to be fun. So exciting. So um, Mel is going to be speaking in English. I'm going to be repeating in French. And there's a script in French and English, so you can tap along with this afterwards, okay, with or without the video, as you please. And the idea is to make it a part of a routine before you do your classes and make it a habit. I suppose tapping's like any other sort of personal development routine. So to feel more confident, it needs to be done daily. And it's like, like you say, you wouldn't have a shower once and expect something. I love the way you say that. So I love that. So we can start tapping here on the karate chop point and, um, and yeah, and just um, talk and tap and repeat after us. Here we go. Even though I don't always feel confident whilst I'm speaking French, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Je choisis de m'aimer et de m'accepter tout de même. Even though my French is not perfect and I worry that others will judge me. Quoique mon français ne soit pas parfait et je m'inquiète parce que les autres vont me juger. I choose to feel confident enough to speak anyway. Je choisis de me sentir confiante et de parler tout de même. Even though I'm frustrated I'm not learning quickly enough. Bien que je me sens fr frustré que je n'apprends pas assez vite. I choose to deeply and completely love and forgive myself. Je choisis de m'aimer et de me pardonner complètement et profondément. I am learning French. J'apprends le français. It is easy and fun. C'est facile et amusant. I like learning French. J'aime apprendre le français. There are times when I forget. Il y a des moments où j'oublie. This is part of the learning process. Ça fait partie de l'apprentissage. I forgive myself for forgetting. Je me pardonne même si j'oublie. I understand this is a normal part of learning French. Je comprends que ça fait une partie normale d'apprendre le français. Just like everyone who learns a language. Comme tout le monde qui apprend une langue. Today I'm going to learn French. Aujourd'hui je vais apprendre le français. I will remember a bit. Je m'en souviendrai d'un peu. And I will forget a bit. Et j'en oublierai un peu. I don't have to be perfect. Pas que je sois parfait. To speak French, you don't have to be perfect. Pour parler français, ce n'est pas nécessaire d'être parfait. I want to be able to speak French. Je veux parler en français. So I'm going to speak French today. Alors, je vais parler en français aujourd'hui. I will find someone to talk with. Je trouverai quelqu'un avec qui parler. Even if only a few sentences. Même si c'est pour que quelques phrases. It will all come together. Tout finira bien. I would only achieve this dream unless I get speaking French. Ce rêve ne se réalisera pas à moins que je ne parle en français. Starting with recognizing that I am a learner. Et je commence par accepter que je suis étudiant. I am learning French. J'apprends le français. I choose to feel more confident every day. Je choisis de me sentir plus confiant tous les jours. I choose to enjoy learning French. Je choisis d'aimer apprendre le français. And I choose for it to be fun. Et je choisis d'avoir du fun. Take a deep breath in. And Inspire. exhale. Inspire. Et expire. Okay. So, yeah, just love you to notice how you're feeling after doing that. 
Yes, it's um, so easy to focus on the actions and mm. two things at once can be a little bit confusing at first, especially in a foreign language. Now, Melanie, if anybody would like to learn more about how to get confidence for any mm. aspect of their life mm. and they wanted to do this with you, how would they get in touch with you? Um, I do a lot of tapping videos on my Facebook page and on YouTube. Um, Facebook page, you can find me at I am Melanie Moore. Um, my YouTube page is Melanie Moore EFT and also um, inspiration on Instagram as well, um, which is again at I am Melanie Moore. You can find out all the details on my website, melaniemoore.co.uk. That is wonderful. And I'm so happy you joined us today with so many people in my conversation cafe say they're a bundle of nerves. So <laughs> if they could just do this beforehand. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it will make such a difference as well. Mm. I mean, doing something repeatedly doesn't make you more confident, but doing it with a different frame of mind makes every difference in the world. And, and it empowers you. So thank you again so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, what a pleasure.